Hi, it's Gloria Schur with Close to My Heart from purpleglowcreations.blogspot.com. I'm here today to show you how to cut, uh, to do a sidestep card. Um, the, the ones, there's all different kinds out there. There's many, many sidestep cards, many, many center step cards, different variations on the theme. But I wanted to show you the one that I like the best. And that's um, with the bigger piece, four and a half, and the smaller piece on the side is one and a half. Now, I've already cut, this is a six by 12 piece of cardstock. And I just used one that I already had cut here because um, I want it to be a color that you can see. And so the first thing you do is you will get your scoring board out and you're going to score for this one you only have to score on one side so you're going to score and you're only going to score into i hope you can see that one and a half inches in so you want to make sure you don't score further than that so you're going to score at the one inch mark all the way into the one and a half spot here because you want it to go one and a half inches in and then you're going to, I'm going to do it a couple times, and then you're going to score at the two inch spot, same way, all the way in to the one and a half spot, and then you're going to score at the seven inch spot, again, going in one and a half inches. And you can put a ruler or something there if you want to keep it perfectly straight. Now, you're going to turn this over, and you're, on, you're going to score at six inches, and on this side, you're going to go in four and a half inches. So you're going to score six inches all the way in to four and a half, which I'm just kind of guessing because I didn't want to use my ruler to block your direction there. All right, so now, depending on which way you want this, if you want your side, side over here or if you want it on the other side, you will fold it based on that. So first, before you do that, you've got to cut it. So I've already got it scored now. And I'm going to cut it between the lines. So to score it, I mean to cut it, you're going to cut it on the side with all your um, with your all your scores. You've got the two, one, two, and the seven, and you're going to cut it on that side. I hope you can see this. Um, so I'm going to line it up because you want it to be one and a half. So you're going to have to. Um, line it up here well the easiest thing to do is to have it out like this and line it up to uh four and a half and then you know you've got one and a half left on the on the end of it and then you're going to start your score your cutting you start the cut from sorry from the one inch mark where you first did your first score so make sure you got this lined up at four and a half so you don't run off and make sure it's all lined up really well. But you're going to start right here at the one and a half, one inch mark, and you're going to cut between the one inch one all the way to the seven inch one. Just one line, because this again is your side step one. So that's all you have to do is cut the one line. Now, if you're doing a different kind, you'll do a different different cut. But okay, so I want it to be on the right hand side, my my thing here. So you're going to fold here. I like to fold the middle first and then try to line this up. I just do the middle first and then it makes it easier. Try to line it up into a perfect square. Um, hopefully you can see that. And then you're um, going to do, you're going to fold this one down. Can you see that? You can fold that one down back. You're going to fold the next one so it folds like that on top of each other. And then you're going to fold this little and then you're going to use your tool to uh, make sure that they're scored correctly. Now I'm going to turn it over because it looks like it could be off a little bit. But you do this first. And once you get it all ready, then you're ready to make your card. So there it is. You can see the scoring. I did a one inch, a two inch and a seven inch um, yes and then this side I just did the scoring at the six inch so you've got so it makes it square if you did a scoring in a different place if you want to make a smaller card you actually could do that but you have to make sure your measurements are correct I tried doing it and screwed up on several of them but, but that's the way it looks from the side so then what I do is I take my paper and I will usually cut out a six by six paper 
and I'll take it to the very, to, not to the edge, I'll take it where it's got a little edging all the way around. And I can show you the card that I just did that one with. And you can see, um, I've got several cards because that's my favorite card. So here's one I've done, you can find on my blog, and you can see the edging. This is uh, the, the um, Chantilly paper pack. But there's the edging around, and I just leave edging. And I like to use the colored ones behind it. I do whites too, but I like to use a colored one because then it makes the pattern stand out more. So I made the, so I cut my square first, and then I use that measured and put little pencil marks on the paper so that I could fit these to fit the card. And then the same thing on the inside. You can do the same thing on the inside. Leaving the little edge, it might be hard to see because this is almost the same color. But you can see on this one that I used just the edging, left the edging there so you could see that. But I just cut the square first and it makes it easier to cut it out. And then, of course, you have to cut these other pieces. There's several pieces to cut when you do the sidestep card. Um, but I think it's just a beautiful card and everyone I give them to just loves them. But be sure and check this one out too on, on um, my, my blog purpleglowcreations.blogspot.com but I just want to show you quick and easy how to do that side step card and again it's four and a half inches for this part and one and a half here now I've also done four inches for here and two inches there there's a variation you can do one inch here if you prefer and then five inches over here for this is for a six by six card um, but I think they turn out really great and like I said I really like making them they're fun. They do take a little bit more time than a regular card, but I feel like the rewards are well worth the, the time it takes to make these. So I hope you learned something to do new today. This is again how to make a one type of sidestep card with different variations. Thank you and have a fantastic day. Bye.